Hi. What's your name? Rosalind. Rosalind, nice to meet you. So what brings you in today? Um, I've been feeling like a little blue. Um because I, I myself, I work with children in school, so I have a client that I work with every day. Mm -hmm. And I've just been feeling a little, like, confused, sad, in the blue zone, you know, kind of down. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with your client? Um, well, I can't really say, like, I can't go into, like, detail, detail, because, like, a HIPAA. But I can, like, let you know, like, what's been happening, like, the gist of it. Um... Well, I've been feeling a little blue because my student has been um, not wanting me around. Mm -hmm. And he has said that in class, telling the teacher if I can be removed from the class, not be his aide anymore um, in front of like all the students. And I kind of froze and I didn't know how to address the situation. I saw somebody else had to step in and assist with the situation. Mm -hmm. But other than that, everyone was kind of just laughing. But mm -hmm. that kind of wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. It made me feel like bad. Yeah. So you had an embarrassing moment with um, one of your clients? Yes. Do you think you could talk a little bit more about your relationship and your just overall the background? You don't have to get into detail. Um, so my student has like a severe disability, which hinders them from being able to communicate effectively and like remember. Um, and I kind of have to be that person for them, like mm -hmm. their memory. I have to be their communicator, their reminder, like everything in that little realm for school, to do work, anything in that such. Um, so... I have to like try my best, mm -hmm. but I think others also forget that I'm also a human. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, you know, me being him, my student, but I'm also a human and I have feelings mm -hmm. and like, I need to get my own type of therapy and counseling because clearly it's taking a toll on my personal life. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like um, you are not being heard at times when you're um, talking to your um, patient? Yes. I'm not being heard because it's kind of like a broken record. Mm -hmm. It's like every day is a new day, but every day it's like I have to narrate what's happening. So get your pencil out, get your backpack. Where's your homework at? Did you do your homework? Do you understand this? And I have to narrate that um, on a day to day. Mm -hmm. But it kind of gets exhausting to repeat the same over and over and over mm -hmm. every single day. So you talked about um, broken records. You feel like you're repeating yourself and maybe at times um, the student that you're working with is not hearing you and is not able to communicate with you effectively. Is that? Um, yes, that's correct. It's just really hard, like, building rapport with them because mm -hmm. they have a severe disability where they are, um, in a different world half the time and mm -hmm. they have, like, their own inner voices that they hear and they speak to. So our world is, like, a different universe for them. Mm -hmm. So me trying to get their attention, me trying to build rapport, ask questions, is very difficult since um, he he doesn't he can't differentiate what's real and what's fake. Mm -hmm. So that's a big that's a bigger struggle because sometimes he can't differentiate. So he will be telling his inner voices mm -hmm. mean hurtful things about me, and because he has a disability, I kind of have to just take it all in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that something that you feel a lot um, with working with your student? Yeah, it happens every, like almost every day. Mm -hmm. He calls me mean names, and then I have to redirect him and be like, hey, are you saying mean things? And then he either lies, most of the time lies, mm -hmm. and says, no, 
I don't know what she's talking about. But I can clearly hear him, but he doesn't know which universe he's in. Mm. 